Hello, welcome back to the kitchen table. Uh, normal service has been resumed, as you can see. Um, I have here a glass of Chilean Merlot, and, and very nice it is too, so um, cheers. Hmm, excellent. So, the video today is, it's aimed at people who are just about to buy a vision for the first time, or who have just bought one and maybe it's their very early days. And it's really based on a conversation I was having some, with someone a couple of days ago. And it was, um, I guess the theme is um, things that I kind of wish I had known at that point without having to find some of them out the hard way. So basically it's just a few little, um, a few little um, hints and tips that I've sort of picked up along the way that, that you as a new or aspiring DJI Phantom 2 Vision owner might find useful. So let's go through them in, in well not in order of importance, but the first one is pretty good. Number one, read the manual again. Hopefully I don't have to tell people to read the manual for the first time. You've all probably done that or are doing it now. If you've put an order in, you're waiting for it to be delivered, download the manual or read it online, it's great. But after your first two or three or four flights, go back to it and read it again because I suddenly found some things that I sort of skimmed over because it didn't really make sense to me that much. Suddenly having had some experience and really flying it or using the app really sort of made sense. So take the time out in, uh, you know, it's spring, Northern Hemisphere, weather can be a bit if he take that time to read the manual again and always check the DJI website for new version releases unless there's something major which normally comes with the firmware they're probably just minor corrections or incrementals but you know always worth having a check if there's, if there's a new one and having a quick read up so number two the number two top tip you can see it here some people have commented on it here stick your phone number on it. Um, if it decides that it's going to um, disappear off somewhere, or in my case, after an early flight, end up 60 feet up in a tree, more about those later, um, then when it eventually comes back again, having a sticker or a uh, just even scrawled with a bit of pen, mine says reward if returned not if found, that's probably quite a crucial difference. Uh, and I just did it with a label maker and stuck it on there. Um, other, uh, I've reviewed previously uh, Signs of Life um, who make um, uh, custom uh, vinyl stickers like these. They will do a, uh, a set for you if you wish that you can actually put in your details and have it nicely professionally printed. But that would be another top tip. Just in case this thing disappears, put your telephone number on it. Number three, and this one happened to me just this weekend, so it's not necessarily for you know complete newbies. If you use a card reader, and I kind of recommend that you do, if you use a card reader to take the SD card out of here and have a look at all your photos and vids on your computer, it's uh, I've never I've never Wi-Fi transferred them over. I I, I don't know. I'm, maybe it's because I just you take the SD card, put it in the computer or even plug it into a USB uh, reader into the back of my big TV and watch it there. Or, you know, it's just easy for me. But, but, please remember to check before you leave for the flying site that you have put it back in the back of the camera. Because I've done this so many times it's embarrassing, including this weekend. Luckily I wasn't really, I didn't go anywhere picturesque, I was just intending to do some range testing, but check your SD cards in the vision. Next one, bit of a tip for takeoff, be assertive on the throttle. Um, a lot of people have kind of, get it a bit, gets a bit squirrely when it's in ground effect, close to the ground, then you can have tips and uh, hit props. The best way to take off is to actually gun it a little bit and then release. If you gun it and it'll pop up to about head height, release the sticks, it will hold itself there and you'll get a nice clean lift. Um, don't be sort of progressive and gentle give it some give it some throttle and be a bit assertive you know you're allowed to be it's fine next one 
please watch out for trees. I have decided that trees are evil. Trees will move into your aircraft's path while you're just looking the other way. Perhaps you're just uh, adjusting the camera settings in the app. And when you will have looked up, that tree that was over there is now right in front of you. And you're probably about to hit it. Avoid trees. Just avoid them. Give them a massive wide berth. They're just, like I say, they, they'll either move into your path or they'll emit some sort of radio interference that sucks aircraft in. Avoid trees. The other tip is sort of similar. Don't get so absorbed in filming and framing your shots and, and maybe having a look at uh, changing the exposure or whatever that you forget that you're actually flying. The camera is flying and that means you need to keep uh, you know, an eye on what it's doing as well as what the camera is showing you. Because if you're pointing in that direction, but you happen to be drifting down this way towards that power line or the building or the small child on the uh, play equipment, you just always try and remember that it's a flying camera and, and you should probably be devoting 50% of your time to, to piloting it uh, and you know, as well as 50% of it to, to, to using it as a camera. Um, fly sensibly. And by that, I mean things like just if you have got any local laws or regulations or whatever, please obey them. Respect other people and their property and their privacy. Um, and just don't fly like a Insert your favourite expletive here. Be safe, okay? Just be safe. Two reasons for that. One, we don't want any, you know, bad things to happen to anybody or anything. And two, we don't want any any anybody to, to make the news for the wrong reasons. Um, let's keep the hobby um, as lightly regulated as it as it as it is for most of us, uh, so that we can enjoy it by being sensible. But finally, and probably most importantly, even having said all those things, just have fun. Please remember to get out and have a load of fun with it. Even just nipping down to a local open space at the edge of town or whatever and flinging it around for 20 minutes while you take some pictures of the sunset or whatever. Just enjoy it. Um, you know, you've, you've, put, you've put you, or your significant others hard earned cash into into it and and it's a shame to have it sat and uh, and not being used so even if you haven't got anything particularly wonderful to film on it just go and fly it so that's it just a few tips nothing earth shattering nothing amazing just some things that 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 I've sort of um, learned the hard way as i say some of them especially about those trees um, so I hope I hope if you are a new or about to be a new um, proud owner of one of these, I hope you have a fantastic time with it. Many thanks indeed again, and um, I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.